Hey, this is Mike, and I just decided to make my paleo bread. Let's see how long it takes exactly. Oops, didn't mean to turn out the lights. I'm going to turn on the lights. All right, so I'm walking downstairs. Turning on the light. Sorry, the house is a little messy. There's my shadow. Turn on the light to the kitchen. First thing I'm going to do is preheat the oven. So let's preheat it to 350. Good. So it's all preheated. Now I'm going to reach in to my cabinet and get my bread tray. There it is. Bread tray. And I'm going to get my Chinese food bowl from my cabinet. And now I've got my cashew butter right here. So let's go ahead and take the cashew butter out. And I'm going to get a cup, a measuring cup. There we go. And let's get a cup of cashew butter. That's a little hard to do with only one hand, but there's about a cup of cashew butter. So I'm going to add that to my measuring cup. Let me put my thing down over here. Sorry about that. I'm going to get a little close up over there so you can see it. Okay, so now I'm going to dump this out. And there we go. I'll add a little bit more cashew butter. Sorry, the screen went black for a minute. All right, so there's all my cashew butter, all added. Go to the fridge, get five eggs. Oh, look, I have exactly five eggs. Perfect. I'll get my cashew butter, and I'm gonna crack all five eggs into my cashew butter. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. All right, five eggs. Now we're going to take it over here and we're going to blend it up. So I need my stick blender. There's my stick. Pop it in and start blending on low. Remember, I'm doing all this with one hand because I'm filming with the other hand. Perfect. Now, the other ingredients. I need a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. There's the apple cider vinegar. And, okay, I'm going to need to put the thing down for a sec. So, sorry, you're going to have to look at the fridge. So, there's tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Add that. Now I need a teaspoon of half a teaspoon of salt. That's a teaspoon so I'm going to make that half of a teaspoon. Dump that in there. Now we need, what did I say? Um, we need some agave nectar, like a teaspoon of agave nectar, but before that I'm going to add the baking soda. So there's some baking soda. And I'll get a teaspoon of baking soda and dump that in there. And now the agave nectar and a teaspoon of agave nectar. Again, I'm going to have to put the phone down for a sec. All right, there's the agave nectar. 
blend it up again. And that's it. Now I can just uh, coat the pan with a little bit of oil. Pardon. Again, this is only with one hand, so it's kind of hard. There we go. And I'm just going to put the phone down for a sec again so I can grab some of the oil. Now I'm using coconut oil. That's what I like to use. And I'll coat the whole pan with coconut oil. Sorry, my hand's a little oily now. I'm going to clean this out later. I'll just pop that down here for now. And I just dump this in here. And let's see, I'm going to scrape the bottom. Scraper. I don't want to lose any of my bread mixing. All right, and literally that's it. So I basically did most of it with one hand and we're coming up on seven minutes. But that was from the time I got out of bed to make it. And there it is, popped it in the oven. It'll cook for 40 minutes and it's done. And as for cleanup, all you really have to clean up is this bowl. And I, use, I love to use the Chinese food bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean off that spoon. And then I rinse the bowl out. And the only mixing utensil that I really use, well, other than the measuring cup, which, mmm, tasty. I'll stick it in there and wash later. The only utensil I really use is this one, my stick blender. Oh, look at that, the oven's now ready. So I actually put it in the oven before. It had heated up to 350. And I just rinse that off and then I'm all done. So I actually was able to prepare the batter before the oven even heated up to 350. And that's how easy it is to make your bread.